All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of My Fi Yells Into Your Ears About God Rolls. On the menu today, we have peace of mind. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I first tried this weapon, I honestly thought it was complete and utter garbage. But after acquiring a good roll, some might even say a God roll, my mind has been completely changed. This is overall, in my opinion, and I know, like I, I know I'm not supposed to give my opinion on the internet, but I am. In my opinion, this is one of, if not the best pulse rifles in the game currently. So in this video, we're going to be going over peace of mind and what the best perks are, aka the god roll, you should be looking for slash crafting. But before we get started, if you're new and only if you enjoy my videos or find them useful, then feel free to subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Also, my code, code MyFi, is currently 30% off G Fuel. And we all know picking up some G Fuel with code MyFi does indeed increase your god roll drops inside of Destiny 2. Listen, all right, I don't make the rules. That's just how it works. All right, let's get into it so first up the peace of mind is a 540 rpm rapid fire frame kinetic pulse rifle that is acquired via the seasonal stuff so like psyops and the war table now it is craftable but requires five red border frames to unlock its pattern a few tips if you're trying to bust out getting the pattern as fast as possible first is to make sure you have purchased the deep sight requisition upgrade as this will make the first weapon you buy every week from the war table a guaranteed red border and the second tip if you're trying to be as efficient as possible when farming psyops only do the cosmodrome one so if you load into the edz or the moon uh just leave it and keep searching till you find the cosmodrome at the end as you're collecting your loot you can just run back to the last load zone and it will then teleport you back to the chest so you you can claim a second round of loot for free. You're essentially just farming psyops, hoping for a red border to drop while at the same time stacking up on psychogenic intel, which you can use to buy peace of mind directly from the war table, hoping once again for a red border to drop. So a lot of RNG there. Okay, so with the stats and how to actually get it out of the way, let's take a look at the perks. In column one, you have nine barrel options, arrowhead break, chambered compensator, corkscrew rifling, extended barrel, fluted barrel, full bore, hammer forge rifling, polygonal rifling, and small bore. Of course, for controller, I recommend stability, and for MK, I recommend range my number one pick is small bore for controller and full bore for m and k small bore is going to add some stability along with some range and full bore is just going to max out your range or at least as much as it can in this first column but as long as the perk adds either stability or range for your specific input then it's good especially if you're still relying on random rolls and not crafting it also wanted to mention for controller arrowhead break which might be useful due to this weapon not having the best recoil direction so this will make its recoil much more vertical Currently, just in base form, peace of mind shoots up and to the right, like by a lot. But if you get arrowhead break, it'll shoot up and just a tad bit to the left, but it's almost perfectly vertical. Next up, column two, you got eight perks. Extended barrel, alloy mag, appended mag, armor piercing rounds, high caliber rounds, ricochet rounds, flared magwell, and light mag. Now for a weapon like this, I would normally recommend ricochet rounds for increased stability if you're on controller and maybe even ricochet again for M&K as the mag perks on this weapon are only gonna add like five to six bullets, but because of overflow in column three, you're gonna win a mag perk here. More specifically, a pinned mag or extended mag. A pinned is going to take the base mag from 35 to 41 and extended to 44. The only problem is that extended kills your reload. And yes, I know that with overflow, you're not gonna be reloading as much, but I guarantee you're still gonna reload from time to time and you're gonna feel that reload speed reduction. With overflow, a pinned gives 82 and extended gives 88. So if the extra six bullets are worth the penalty, well then go for it. But I'm personally going with and recommending a pinned mag now for column three where you have six perks overflow 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 and wait for it overflow of course i'm just joking and even though i love perks like stats for all and perpetual motion which this gun does have i just can't recommend them over overflow i mean come on 80 plus rounds in a mag and all you have to do is pick up a special or heavy brick you just can't beat it and i don't know if it's just me but i feel like ever since witch queen i see a lot more just green ammo on the ground like it's just raining man like i don't know what it is but i feel like i'm never out of special ammo but let me know if if uh, you've noticed that as well like i it, maybe it's just me i don't know and finally column four where i'm actually gonna list out the perks all right moving target elemental capacitor focus fury adrenaline junkie vorpal weapon and harmony now the three perks i want to look at are focus fury adrenaline junkie and vorpal first let's just knock out the easy one adrenaline junkie it should only really be used for general play kill five enemies or get one grenade kill and you're dealing 33 percent more damage and it can be refreshed while it's still active by just continuing to get kills all around a great perk for like i said general play now the controversy i guess you could say is when it comes to higher level content or just in-game content and that would be 
Focus Fury versus Vorpal. Both are a 20% damage increase, but Vorpal requires no activation, but only works on yellow health bar enemies, and Focus Fury requires you to land half your mag as precision shots. The required shots don't change because of overflow, in case you didn't know that. It's still only half of the base max, so even if you do get overflow active and you have over 80 plus bullets in your mag, it's still only going to be half of that original mag, so like 20 something, depending on if you got a pendant or extended. And Focus Fury, once activated, lasts for 11 seconds. It can also be refreshed while it's active, and this damage increase works on everything. In my opinion, while Focus Fury can, on paper, be better than Vorpal in in-game content because it's dealing that increased damage to everything and even lower tier adds in something like a GM are still pretty difficult to kill. If you don't want to think about it and just want a 20% damage buff to all the important enemies, aka the yellow health bar enemies, just go with Vorpal. It's solid, it's always going to be active, and it won't let you down. But a counter argument to that would be you're not really going to be damaging higher level enemies and champs. You're just going to be stunning them or if we get more pulse rifle champion mods then you're going to be using whatever champ mod is on it and then you're just going to be using it for ad clear so maybe just maybe focused would be better because everything takes more damage and you can land a whole lot more headshots because you know not everything's dying as quick but uh, listen boys i'm torn between which one to use if you want a perk that's going to work when you need it with you know no strings attached Vorpal. If you don't mind having to put in some work to get a better benefit, aka you're dealing increased damage to everything, Focus Fury. I'm personally going to craft one piece of mind and then try Vorpal and then go and switch it and try Focus Fury and just see which one I like more, which one has a better effect. Also wanted to mention, because I know some people might bring it up, Focus Fury can be used in general play, but I wouldn't recommend it over adrenaline. By the time you land those headshots, you could have killed five enemies considering that almost anything in normal content, just general play, dies in one burst anyway. And like I just mentioned, you could have already killed those five enemies by the time you land the headshots and adrenaline is a 33% damage buff versus a 20%. Now, if you're crafting and you're wondering if you should go with the enhanced versions of any of these perks, well, for overflow, yeah, as it's going to put the increase to around 2.5 times the mag over two times the mag. But for Vorpal, Adrenaline, and Focus Fury, well, I would just wait until you're like balling in the materials. I just, you know, hold off as there's no serious major noticeable difference. Enhanced Vorpal just speeds up your reload, but then Focus slash Adrenaline just increase the timer of their said damage increase peace of mind and i'm just gonna say it is currently one of my favorite pulses in the game and like i mentioned earlier i believe to be one of the best pulses in the game just how it feels how it handles the damage it puts out i really love the sight i mean it's just a super reliable yeah sure let's use the word reliable it does what you need it to do and it does it really good and with perks like overflow it still has that cool factor you know it's not just like a boring gun i mean you you have almost a triple digit mag count also not to mention pulse rifles are unstop weapons this season and peace of mind is going to personally be my go-to plus also so like also also let's not forget that it's origin perk land tank which is going to make you harder to kill when you get kills further aiding you in that higher level content but that is peace of mind now i'm not gonna lie i'm not really a pulse rifle main like i don't use pulse rifles for general play i mainly only use it when i need to when it's like champ mods or whatever it might be so if you are a pulse rifle main and you use pulse rifles on the daily well then hit the comment section down below and let me know your opinion on peace of mind also let me know what roles you've managed to get or are you able to craft it yet let me know i'm curious but with all that being said if you enjoyed the video then feel free to drop a like and i'll catch you all in the next one peace